Welcome back. So obviously this video is a little bit different because I'm not holding the mic in front of me, but we're going to be going over my hoop shoe rotation subject to change because obviously once I start to heal more, I can wear more of my lower cut, more shifty play style type of shoes. Here's the current rotation and we're going to get it started off with the way of Wade shoes that I own. So we're starting off here with the All City 11s. These are the sunrise collection these have been in my rotation for about a year and a half now um they're super comfortable and yeah the the tread of course it's coming off a little bit if you can see it it happens i've been using the shoes i've been wearing these on normal concrete like finished flat smooth all that and then i've also used it on kind of like the it's hard to explain but it's like the concrete it has like the little pebbles and stuff in it it's not black top it's not asphalt but it's like gray concrete these are a great pair of shoes and um yeah, I have another pair as well. They're next in the rotation. Next is the AC11s. These are the Blossom colorway. If you've been paying attention to any of these Achilles videos, these are the shoes I tore my Achilles in. They're no different from those over there. They are really dirty. I do need to clean these. These are the shoes I wore my Achilles. I tore my Achilles in. It's not the fault of the shoe. It is operator error. I sprained my ankle three years ago. It never healed properly. It got the Kobe Bryant treatment. I started walking off the court. My Achilles snaps. It's not the fault of the shoe. So do not use that when you're buying the shoes. These are amazing. The grip has not worn off. and I've used these on worse concrete than I've used uh, the previous pair of AC11s. These are my go-to wades for all around court use. Great profile, great shoe. This is obviously staying the rotation forever. Next, do these hold a special place in my heart because these shoes right here sponsor me way of wade, sponsor me bro. These are better than any shoe I've owned and that includes Kyrie's, Curry's, LeBron, any Puma basketball. These are better than all of them. These are the Panda Fish eights these are obviously going to stay in the rotation because they look fire they look they got the logos on the side dude these look like i don't know how to describe them these are great love them they have good arch support great grip it's not even wearing down not even a little bit so obviously these are a great pair of shoes these are going to stay in the rotation forever as well and it says heel lock right there it's not lying great pair of shoes they look great almost as good as the blossom colorway but the blossom colorway looks better with like a, a, a white fit white shorts white sock you know what i'm saying now we're moving on to the nike section so we'll start with with the Kyrie line from the oldest model to the newest starting with these these are the Kyrie 3 flytrap EPs black and volt green these hold a special place in my heart bro these are <clears throat> outside of family and gifts and people buying me basketball shoes and stuff these are like the very first pair I bought for myself with my own money with a job and all that so I went ahead and I got another pair because they function so well especially during the pandemic yeah these are just a great pair of shoes these will always be remembered as like my first pair of hoop shoes I bought. Gonna stay in the rotation as long as they keep producing them where I can keep finding them. These next ones here are a model up. So this is the three lows. They're a more premium model of that and they're the low edition as you can tell. Gorge green because it's gorgeous. Kyrie's with the straps. That's the reason I got these. I love Kyrie's with straps. They're so secure. The tread is great. It's like raised at an angle as well. Kind of like a rose petal bro. These are like these are great, um, but these will stay in the rotation as well, not only because they look good, but they feel good. These were the first pair of shoes outside of my Nike trainers I wore um, after tearing my Achilles. So these are obviously like memorable. These here are the next, next model up. These are a few models up. This is the Seven Grind uh, EP. Um, these are mainly built for outdoor play. Everybody, for some reason, <laughs> when I show people these, they think they're hiking boots. I don't know if it's the the pattern on these, they kind of look like hiking boots a little bit. And the, the shoelaces, these are like hiking boots, I don't know. Great pair of shoes, only problem is the Achilles pad right here is a little too much pressure on my Achilles scar right now. The Achilles is healing fine and all that, but it's just the scar is a little sensitive still. So these are gonna stay in the rotation, of course. And obviously I'm gonna keep these for a long time because if you look on GOAT, a few months ago, these were like almost two, $3,000 <laughs> because they sell out fast. I happen to have a source. These are great. I'm gonna wear these as soon as I'm able to feel comfortable in them. Them. These right here, bruh, this is new territory for me. These are my first pair of LeBrons ever. I'm a point guard. I could not wear the previous iterations of LeBrons. So I went ahead and I got these, right? These are the 20s. They feel like a guard shoe. They're just a little too chunky for me. So these probably won't be in the hoop rotation. These will probably just be like casual wear, but still a great pair of shoes in the shoe rotation. And then next we have the next gen. These are the phase edition. <laughs> These are not seeing the court, outdoor court at least. These are gonna stay indoor wear only. Um, but shout out FaZe, not, not Max, bruh. You shouldn't have got beat by cash uh, 1v1. You gotta quit basketball now. They came with the green laces. I'm gonna have to look, tell me how they, how does this look, bro? 
right here. If you're looking at this one, it's, it's right here. How does these look with the green laces, bro? Because I may not use the green laces. I may put them in my Kyrie's. Comfortable pair of shoes. They look great. Holographic logo. The stuff I go for. So these are a new pair. Shout out my dad for instilling the love of Adidas shoes into me. He's an Adidas fanatic, but these are great. Love you, pops. These are the Adidas BYW Select Black and Pre-Love Blue. Dude, this is a gorgeous pair of shoes. Like, even if I don't wear them to hoop in, the grip is, is kind of good, too. But even if I don't wear them to hoop in, they're still a great shoe. They have this little, the Vel, these are Velcro. This is the hook side. This is the fuzz side. Um, so you can like customize them. This is the logo for the BYWs. Great shoe, super comfortable. These are way better than the Trey Youngs. Don't let anybody tell you different. Trey Young shoes, they're not the greatest. That circle on the tread is only good for making pivots and things like that. But this final pair of shoes is a very special pair of shoes to me because I could never buy them as a kid because as a kid, you never have money because you're a kid are a special pair for obvious reasons once you see them you'll pretty much understand why this is my first ever pair of kobe 8s real kobe 8s not reps or anything this is the kobe 8 sulfur electric they're very comfortable i'll never wear them to hoop in because you know it's kobe bro so you know you got to keep them intact red is still brand new these are a great pair of shoes still got the scaly leather these are a really great pair of shoes for obvious reasons those will not be hooped in ever so don't expect them to see them on the court unless i'm indoors and i'm just training or something Probably won't even do that. That's my hoop rotation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that. Hope you have a good rest of your day. What time is it? It is, it's morning time, it's 1045. I do have another pair coming, but they're not gonna be included in this video because I'm probably not gonna hoop in them because they're mainly like the low cut type. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Use my code Chris Can Hoop for In The Lab, get your $5 off for WGG Energy. That's my new channel sponsor for Jitterless uh, Energy for gaming, supplements, and caffeine. I'm out of here. Thank mm -hmm. you.